so friends in this lesson number three we are going to solve five different question and all the five different question is based on the topic called average so friends for the certain question like this initially we need to frame an equation so if you frame an equation correctly then solving all the question based on this pattern will be so simple right so friends let me move on to all the five different question based on this pattern so here is question number one the average of marks obtained by 120 candidates was 35 if the average of marks of past candidates was 39 and that of failed candidates was 15 then the number of candidates who passed in the examination so friends listen here friends total number of candidates were 120 and their average is 35 out of this 120 there are some candidates have failed and also there are some candidates have passed right so the past average will be 35 and the failed average will be 15 so our target to find out of 120 candidates how many candidates have passed the examination right okay so friends listen here friends first of all we know that the total are 120 candidates right so 120 we know that all the 120 candidates the average will be 35 so 120 into 35 the resultant will be the total marks obtained by the 120 candidates right so 120 into 35 so we can 0 so 5 into 2 will be 10 reminder will be 1 so 12 reminder will be 1 so 4200 so friends finally we can say that 4200 will be the total marks obtained by 120 candidates right so friends next is we know that the total candidates will be 120 if 20 students passed then the remaining under students will be failed but we don't know how many students have passed and failed right so let me do one thing let me assume x will be the number of students who passed right number of candidates who passed and the remaining will be 120 minus x will be the candidates who have failed so friends listen here friends we don't know how many candidates have passed and failed so let me assume that out of this 120 x will be the number of candidates passed then the remaining 120 minus x will be the failed candidates right so friends listen here friends i am just going to frame an equation we know that the total marks obtained by 120 candidates will be 4200 so this 4200 is equals to marks obtained by the past candidates plus marks obtained by the failed candidates right so we know that the past candidates will be x and the average of past candidates will be 39 next is failed candidates that is 120 minus x and the failed candidates the average will be 15 so friends if you frame this equation correctly then solving all the questions based on this pattern will be so simple right so this is the total mark obtained by total 120 candidates right this is equals to marks obtained by the past candidates plus marks obtained by the failed candidates right so we have assumed that x will be the past candidates and 120 minus x will be the failed candidates right so friends now we need to solve this so here is 4200 is equals to 39x so 120 into 15 right so 5 into 2 will be 10 reminder will be 1 so 5 7 and 8 so 1800 right so minus of 15x so friends 4200 minus 1800 i think resultant will be 2400 right so 2400 is equals to 39x minus 15x so 39 minus 15 will be 24x so x is equal to 2400 divided by 24 so x is equal to 100 so friends finally we got the value of x that is 100 this shows that the value of past candidates will be 100 so we know that 120 minus x will be the failed candidates and the total will be 120 so out of this 120 100 candidates were passed so we can surely say that the remaining 20 candidates will be failed so friends for solving these types of question our only target is to frame this equation correctly so if you frame this equation correctly then solving all the remaining parts will be so simple question number two in a school the average age of student is six years and the average age of 12 teacher is 40 years if the average age of combined group of teacher and the student is seven years then find the number of students so friends listen here friends in the school there are some teachers and some students right so initially we don't know how many students are there in a school but the students average age will be six years and there are 12 teacher and the average age will be 40 years so friends let me do one thing we know that in a school the number of teachers will be 12 right there are 12 teachers in a school but we don't know how many students are there so let me assume that the number of students be x and the total number of teachers will be 12 and the average age of combined group and teacher and the student will be 7 years friends combined group is that we know that there are 12 teachers in a school 
and we don't know how many students are there so combined group their average will be 7 so friends 12 will be the number of teachers and x will be the number of students into 7 the resultant will be the total age in a school so this is equals to teacher age plus student age right so the teachers are 12 teacher and we know that for the 12 teacher average will be 40 so 12 into 40 the resultant will be the total age of the teachers right and we don't know how many students are there in a school but we know that the student average age will be 6 years so x into 6 resultant will be the total age of a student so friends finally we have framed this equation so if you frame this equation then solving all the remaining parts will be so simple so listen here friends so 12 plus x will be the total number of teacher and student so into 7 the resultant will be the total age in a school so the total age is equals to teacher age plus student age right uh, so friends 12 plus x okay let me multiply this so the resultant will be 84 plus 7 into x will be 7x is equals to so 12 into 40 will be 480 plus 6x so 7x minus 6x the resultant will be x so here it is 480 minus 84 so 480 minus 84 resultant will be 396 so friends finally we can say that x is equal to 396 we already know that x will be the number of students so our target to find how many students are there in a school so finally we can say that 396 students in a school right so finally we got an answer for question number two that is 396 question number three the average monthly salary of all employees in the industry will be rupees 12,000. So average salary of male employees will be 15,000 and that of female employees will be 8,000. So what is the ratio of male employees to the female employees? Friends, listen here friends, the average monthly salary of the total employees will be 12,000. But we don't know how many male members are there in the industry and also we don't know how many female members, right? So let me assume one thing friends, the male employees will be X and the female employees will be y so let me assume that the male has x and female has y right because we don't know how many male employees and how many female employees and we don't know what is the, how many total employees in the industry okay so friends in the first point the average monthly salary of all the employees this will be 12,000 right so we can say that x plus y because x plus y the resultant will be the total number of employees in the industry right so x plus y the total number of employees in the industry and the average of total employees will be 12,000 so friends 12,000 into x plus y the resultant will be the total salary of the complete industry right so this is equals to average salary of male person that is total salary of male person plus total salary of female person right so we know that the male will be x and the average salary of male person will be 15,000 so 15,000 into x resultant will be the total salary of male per male employees right and uh, female will be y so y into 8000 the resultant will be the total salary for the female employees so friends x plus y resultant will be the total employees into 12000 the resultant will be the total salary of the company right so this is equals to total salary of male employee plus total salary of female employee but our target to find what is the ratio of male and female right so i think we can cancel 30 friends 30 and similarly we can cancel 30 so this can be written as 12x plus 12y is equals to 15x plus 8y right so 12x minus 15x i think 12y minus 8y is equals to 15x minus 12x so 15x minus 12x the resultant will be 3x so 12y minus 8y the resultant will be 4y but our target to find the ratio for male to female ratio right so this can be written as x divided by y is equals to 4 divided by 3 so finally we got a ratio for male employees to the female employees that is 4 is to 3 so finally we got an answer for question number 3 that is 4 is to 3 question number 4 in a school with 600 students the average age of boy will be 12 years and that of girl will be 11 years if the average age of school is 11 years and 9 months then the number of girls in a school friends listen here friends totally in a school there are 600 students right out of the 600 students some of them are boys and some of them are girls but we don't know how many boys are there in a school and also we don't know how many girls but the total average age of the school will be 11 years and 9 months right so our target to find the number of girls in a school okay friends let me do one thing we know that the total number of uh, students in a school will be 600 so let me assume that x will be the number of boys so the remaining will be 600 minus x 600 minus x the resultant will be the number of girls but our target to find how many girls in a school right 
okay but in a school there are 600 students and the average age of complete school will be 11 years and 9 months friends so we know that the total number of students in a school will be 600 so into 11 years and 9 months so 9 months can be done as 9 divided by 12 because we can convert the complete expression in terms of years right so 11 years 9 months so this 9 months can be done as 9 divided by 12 so this is equal to the total age of boy plus total age of girl right so we know that the total number of boys will be x and the boys average will be 12 right and the girls will be 600 minus x and the girls average will be 11 so friends when we multiply girls average into 11 the resultant will be the total age of girls and this will be the total age of boys that is equal to total age of the school right so friends uh, 9 months they have given us 9 months so in order to convert into years so 9 divided by 12 I think we can cancel this on 3 table right so when we cancel this on 3 table this can be written as 3 divided by 4 so 11 into 4 will be 44 so 44 plus 3 will be 47 so this can be written as 47 divided by 4 so 47 divided by 4 so friends we can cancel this on 150 times so we need to multiply this right so 115 into 47 so 7 are 35 remainder will be 3 so 7 20 27 27 plus 3 will be 30 so the remainder will be 3 so 705 so this can be done as 7050 so this will be the total age of a school right so 7050 will be the total age of the complete school this is equals to boys age this can be done as 12x and uh, 600 into 11 will be 6600 so minus 11x so we need to subtract this right so 7050 minus 6600 resultant will be 450 right so 450 is equals to 12x minus 11x the resultant will be x so friends finally we got x is equal to 450 we know that x will be the number of boys so the number of boys will be 450 so we can surely say that the remaining will be the girls that is 150 so friends in a classroom that is in a school the total 150 will be girls and 450 will be boys so our target to find the number of girls so we can surely say that 150 will be the total number of girls in a school so finally we got an answer 150 for question number four question number five the average salary of all the staffs in an office of a corporate house is rupees 5000 the average salary of offices is 14000 and that of rest is rupees 4000 so if the total number of staffs will be 500 then find the number of offices friends listen here friends in a corporate house there are total 500 staff right so the total will be 500 okay out of this 500 there is an offices and also there is a, and that is a rest right so i think uh, some person we don't know how many offices are there let right? me keep it as x as an offices and the remaining employees will be 500 minus x right so friends listen to the question carefully the average salary of the officer will be 14000 and that of rest right so rest is i think there will be some other employees right so some other employees can be taken as 500 minus x so friends total number of staffs will be 500 so out of this 500 i have assumed that x will be the number of officers and the remaining rest officers will be 500 minus x right okay and uh, our target to find what is the number of officers so our target to find the value of x so now we need to frame the equation friends listen here friends the total average salary of the complete corporate house will be 5000 and we know the total employees will be 500 so 500 into 5000 the resultant will be the total salary of the corporate house right so this is equals to officer salary plus the remaining person salary right so officer will be x and uh, officers average salary will be uh, 14,000 right so 14,000 into x the resultant will be the total salary for the officers and the remaining will be 500 minus x so into 4,000 so the remaining person salary will be 4,000 right so friends now we need to cancel this and find the answer I think uh, we can directly cancel 30 here 30 here and also 30 right so it will be easy for us to calculate so this can be done as 2500 is equals to so 14x so this can be done as 2000 so minus of 4x so friends 14x 4x will be 10x right so this is equals to 2500 minus 2000 so 10x is equals to 500 so x is equal to 50 so friends finally we got an answer that is x is equal to 50 that is the officers in a corporate house will be 50 and the remaining 450 will be the rest officers right but our target to find what is number of officers so we got an answer 50 for the last fifth question 
so friends finally we have solved five different question on this lesson number three so friends is this lesson number three is completely based on an equation model right initially we need to frame this equation correctly so if you frame this equation for all the question based on this pattern then solving all the question will be so simple friends don't forget to watch all the remaining lessons on my youtube channel that is lesson number four lesson number five miscellaneous questions so don't forget to watch all the lessons and uh, share this video to your friends so that your friends can also learn this thank you so much for watching this video bye